Yeah, it's really, really important that you guys take note here of Bitcoin Cash and have a bigger picture view what's actually going on with Bitcoin Cash, regardless of the fork. So Bitcoin Cash is supposed to um, have a hard fork on the 15th November of this month. And what will happen is the natural Bitcoin Cash chain will be called Bitcoin Cash N, and there will be another chain that will call Bitcoin Cash ABC. Um, uh, normally, when a hard fork is occurring, and maybe you write this down, um, when a hard fork is occurring, normally it goes along with an airdrop, and that means that you get free coins of that new chain from that the original chain is splitting away. So that would mean you would get um, the same amount of coins that you have now in Bitcoin Cash for um, Bitcoin Cash ABC and Bitcoin Cash N is then still the natural uh, Bitcoin Cash that you have right now. So that means if you have 10 Bitcoin Cash right now, you will have after the hard fork 10 Bitcoin Cash N and 10 Bitcoin Cash ABC. The problem with that is right now, nobody knows if that will be actually the case because to be able to get these coins on the Bitcoin Cash ABC, 10% of the miners have to come to um, an agreement that they will actually pull away 10% of the original mining power from Bitcoin Cash, so from the original Bitcoin Cash, into that new Bitcoin Cash ABC. If less than 10% will go along to continue to work on Bitcoin Cash ABC, if it's less than 10%, there will be no coins and um, it, uh, Bitcoin Cash will continue as it is. So in terms of the price action, um, we see here that Bitcoin Cash is in a really huge uh, ascending triangle or symmetrical triangle. And, and I really want you to know about this and that you go later back in the recording and check this again. Uh, sorry, if you measure the target for that symmetrical triangle where Bitcoin Cash should go price wise, so and that's how you do it, you take it from the top to the bottom of the symmetrical triangle and you put it maybe here when it's breaking out. So it, it could break out already here where the price is right now, it could happen a little bit later. And in terms of price, it doesn't really change a lot. We're talking here $10 more or less. So it puts a price target long-term on Bitcoin Cash of around $560 to $580. And another important indicator that many of you might not know about is here the hash ribbon. And the hash ribbon gives you an indication when miners start to capitulate. And that means that they turn off their machines because it's not profitable to mine for them right now. And they will start selling more Bitcoin cash to stay profitable or to stay afloat until they can turn on their machines again. And you get all the time these dots here when this is happening. And you see here, these dots, they are like grayish and going into dark green until they get lighter green until you get um, a blue buy dot. Once you get the blue buy dot, and you see here, I have lined that out here on the chart, that is historically through all coins, that includes also Bitcoin, historically the best moment to buy for um, the mid to long term in terms of percentage gain. Because if you look here, if you would have bought here at this buy point and you would have sold then here at the top, let me pull out the percentage. You would have made here almost 60%, 57%. Now you see that the hash ribbon here has at, the, at Halloween, at the 31st of October has capitulated and now getting into the phase where we get lighter green circles and we might get by the end of the month again a buy. That is then historically again um, a really good moment to get into Bitcoin Cash if you are not already in it. So when we look back here in the past, we see from that 
capitulation point here in the chart that we were going more or less sideways until we got the buy. So I don't see a problem with staying in Bitcoin Cash if you're already in it. But if you're looking into buying Bitcoin Cash, you might pull out the hash ribbon. And I uh, really recommend you to get a paid trading view uh, subscription for it. Um, it can be as cheap as $10 so that you can have a look at the hash ribbon. And when it flashes, flashes a buy, then I would recommend you to get into Bitcoin Cash. Okay, that's fantastic, Alex. Yeah. So guys, uh, remember, come back and watch this video again. We will upload that. Everything that Alex said about uh, Bitcoin, the Bitcoin Cash fork, very important to know what's going to happen. And uh, Alex, is that about it? Or did you want to say anything else? Or No, so that's, that's uh, basically it. So there is, um, even though if we have that fork, there is nothing to worry about the long-term view here, especially with the trading pattern that we have here, is really, really good. And I don't see anything standing in uh, the way of Bitcoin Cash to hit this target. Yeah, exactly. The, and guys, here is the difference. Okay, remember, Alex, Jack, all these guys are technical analysts, pretty good at their job. From a technical perspective, that is the high target. And we see that as well, 580. Now, what we give you additional is algorithm analysis. This is where we take the movement of Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash and some other instruments. And we do that over a period of three, four, five years. And we see what Bitcoin has done in the past. And I'm going to show you now where we see our low target and then where we see the higher target in Bitcoin Cash. So, Alex, I'm just going to share my screen there. But thank you very much for that, Alex. And... Um, let me just say there, yes. Okay, let me see if I get my right screen here. Can you see my screen here, Alex? Uh, Bitcoin Cash? Yes, I see it. Okay, yeah. awesome. Guys, so there's our target here, the 580. That is the highest target that we see. And it can easily be that Bitcoin Cash breaks out here, shoots up there, and goes up to that 580 and then come down. If I zoom in here, you will see that we still stick with the lower target, of about 327, there it is.